Hey there, welcome again to Hot in Math. In this uh, issue of Hot in Math, we're going to cover a couple problems involved in surface area of circular solids. In this case, in number 12, we want to find the total surface area of the solid shown, including the surface area inside the hole. So what we're asked to do is we need to find the surface area of this rectangular prism, and then we need to also add the area inside of the cylinder. And then we need to subtract the area of these circles, which are open holes in the tops and bottoms of the, uh, the prism. So here we go. So the total surface area of the figure equals the surface area of the rectangular prism plus the lateral surface area of the cylinder, which is the inside portion, minus the two base areas of the cylinder. So let's take or tackle the surface area of the prism first. Well, I've got four sides that are the same. One, two, bottom line three, and then the opposite side, four. And they're all going to be eight by ten. So I have four times eight by ten. And that is equal to 320 uh, units squared. And then I'm going to add the two tops and bottoms, the left and right hand sides. And I have an area of 8 times 8, which is 64. I multiply that by 2, I get 128 units squared. So the total area is going to be 448 units squared. Next, I'm going to find the lateral surface area of the cylinder. And that's going to be equal to uh, 2 pi r, the circumference, times the height, which is going to be 2 times pi times 3 times the height of 10. So don't get confused. 8 is not the height of the cylinder. The cylinder is on its side, so the height is going to be 10. And I end up with 60 pi. The last thing I want to do is I want to subtract 2 times the base area of the cylinder, which is going to be 2 times pi times r, which is 3. Let's just put that in here. Squared. So I've got 2 times 9 pi, which is equal to 18 pi. And I'm left with 448 plus 42, 60 minus 18 pi units squared. In the last problem, I'm asked to find the total surface area of the frustum shown below. Now the trick to this problem is just realizing that this frustum is a portion of an overall larger cone. So what I want to do is I want to extend the cone up here and draw another line down here. And then I want to realize that what I have in fact here is part of a right triangle. Where when I have a length of 4 that's half the length of the base, I know that the measurement that's cut off is going to be uh, equal to half of the length of the sides. So by the midline theorem, I'm cutting off half the length of the sides. So I know then that this length here is 5. Well, if I have this length here of 5, I know that this hypotenuse is 10. And I know this base is 8. So what I have here is a 3, 4, 5 triangle multiplied by 2. So I have an 8, a 10, and this entire length here, the altitude of 6 which again is cut in half into two equal halves. I know it's not drawn to scale, of 3 to 3. So once I have this total cone drawn, I can figure out the area of the total surface area of the frustum. frustum. And what that is, is just the lateral surface area of the entire cone, this entire cone, a larger cone from top to bottom, minus the lateral surface area of this top portion of the cone, right? So I'm left with just this lateral area of the bottom portion of the cone. And then I want to add in the two bases. 
So it's the surface lateral surface area of the entire larger cone minus the lateral surface area of the top cone plus the base of the the top base of the frustum, which we call base one, and then again plus the base of the bottom part, bottom area of the frustum, which I'll call base two. So let's take a look at uh, each of these areas. Lateral surface area of the larger cone, pi r l, which would be pi times the radius of eight times the slant height of 10, gives me 80 pi. And then I'm going to subtract the lateral surface area of the smaller cone, and that equals pi times four times five, which equals minus 20 pi. And then I want to add in the first base, base 1, which is equal to pi r squared, or pi times 4 squared, which equals 16 pi. And then I want to add in base 2, which equals pi times 8 squared, which equals 64 pi. And I'm left with 80 minus 20 pi is 60 pi, plus another 80 pi. That leaves me with 140 pi units squared for the area of this frustum in question.